Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back to another vintage legacy modern Highlander Cube draft here on Moto.InternetArena.Legacyville. Cube time. Sassy frass. Those are a bunch of words I just said. So, right now, we're drafting Legacy Cube. I don't know what to take here. What are we taking here? Also, if you guys are on uh, the internet right now, check out CoolStuffInc.com. With the promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off. And you can also check out my article that went up today called My Hopes for Modern Horizons. Modern, is it Modern Hopes? I should have called it Modern Hopes for Modern Horizons. Oh, My Modern Hopes for Modern Horizons is the name. So I like that. I thought of a better name, and I was like, I should have used that. And that was the name I went with, so it, it works out. Gary T? Oh, just Gary. Gary? J bro? I don't know who that is. Do I? Oh, Team J bro. Never mind. I do. I do. I do. Are there signets? I actually haven't seen a single signet. It might just be Power Stone. I, I think Jacob's probably onto something there. Although I like Gary. I like Ulamog. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Oh, if we took Gary, we could have Obliterator. Holy. Fractured Identity. Oh, this seems gas. This seems gas. Exile a non-land permanent. Any permanent. Each player other than its controller creates a token of that. A token that's a copy of it. So I would get a copy. I could exile their Elspeth. Oh, wow. That's that's fantastic, dude. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing that I'm taking right now. This is another steely card. Ooh, Theater of Horrors. That's nice. I love these, like... Fracture Identity has to be uh, a commander card, right? Because it's it's it says each other player. So I'm going to guess either a commander set or a conspiracy set. And it was in a commander set. Nailed it. I love these commander cards in the in the cube because it's 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 like you don't get to actually play with them that frequently. Wow, I'm going to add that to my cube. That sounds like that sounds like gas. Hold on a second. Okay. Um also, I have to figure out what to take. I think it might be Sower, but it also might just be Remove Soul. I like Remove Soul a lot. Aleshorn's good. I think we're just going to take the Remove Soul here. Oh, I like Stoneforge Mystic. Man, we could have Obnixilus too. I like Rift. I also like Stoneforge. I think Stoneforge is probably pretty good. I like Karn. I also like Stoneforge. Stoneforge is just so so good though. Did you miss the Misty? I just don't care about it. I don't I don't value fetch lands as high as like someone like Luis does. I'd rather have powerful cards that are I mean like I'm not gonna take a Misty, because last time we took a plateau pretty high and we just didn't even play it. Like I'm gonna take Stoneforge here. I think Stoneforge is just a better card, especially if we get some I always think this is an equipment because it's like a it's an artifact sub card. I like a mana leak here. Oh, mass manipulation? Mass manips? With a worn power stone? Oh yeah, we're taking mass manipulation for sure. Oh yeah. Oh man, opposition seems great, but I don't think we're an opposition deck. We could be a day of judgment deck or an exclusion mage deck though. Also, Mike is on his way back, so if you guys mind this, just deal with it for a minute and he'll be back soon. I mean, you have to be... In, like, Opposition goes in a very specific deck. It's not like a... F I'm going to take the Exclusion Mage. I think we're better off, like, just trying to steal their things than, than to, to Day of Judgment. Uh, 
Uh, we took Mesmerizing Benthid last time. I was not super impressed with it. Oh, we're not going to be casting Iona. Yeah, I was actually thinking conscripts just in case we get the the components and the steam vents comes back. That's pretty gas. Um, also, resto is pretty good here. I'm gonna take the steam vents though. Wall of omens and repeal. Man, let's take wall of omens. Oh, Nahiri. We actually, that's actually not bad with the steam vents. If we're playing red, it's looking good. Cyclonic Rift Tables, guys. Cyclonic Rift Tables. That's pretty good. Through the Breach? Man, our red cards are great. Our deck looks, look, our deck's looking sweet right now. Oh, Volcanic Island seems nice. This pack does not seem very good. So I'm actually... I have no problem taking this Volcanic Island. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm actually going to hover on here. Mike just got back, so I'm going to wait. Maybe he'll have a chance to... to return. Here he comes. He's got his little sweeties. Oh, he got a he got went to Starbucks. He lied. I didn't want to get out of the car. I didn't want to get out of the car. Wow. There it is, man. There it is. All right, this is our deck so far. Stoneforge, Wall of Omens, Cyclonic Rift, Mana Leak, Rune Soul, Exclusion Mage, Worn Power Stone, Mass Manipulation, and this card, which you probably have you seen this card before? Oh, that's weird. Yeah. And then we on our sideboard we have a zealous conscripts and a Hiri and a through the breach. So I'm gonna take this volcanic island to go with our steam vents. Seems good. Oh, a hollowed fountain. Now we're <clears throat> now we're talking. Now we are chatting. Yeah, it's got to be hollowed fountain. Ideally, mentor or chart. Yeah, we're just taking our grim monolith comes back. That'd be gas. Yeah, I, I mean monolith is great, but like. Oh, Cryptic Command and Council's Judgment? I think Council's Judgment is just better. Have you ever cast a Cryptic Command? Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, it's... Explosion Expansion and Vantage and Ravel Master. We're going to get at least one judgment card. answers the unanswerables. It, I actually agree with that. It's very good. Uh, we're also going to put Zealous Conscripts and Nahiri and Through the Breach in the deck. All three of these like are very, very good. And uh, Nahiri and Zealous... Oh, Plateau. And there's nothing else I really care about in this pack. So I'm pretty okay with just taking Plateau. You're getting your boogers out? A little bit. Huh. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Get them all out. Get your little boogies out, Michael. Uh, Celestial Colonnade. Our mana is going to be legit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times. <laughs> I like Aurelia. I think, yeah, but I don't think any of these cards are even close to a colonnade. Oh, Supreme Verdict and a Conclave tribe Tribunal. Tribunal. Stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's not my fault. Blame Prank. What? Blend Prank? The Blame Prank. Is that what you said? <clears throat> Maybe. I'm going to take this Conclave Tribunal. Lantern does seem good, but I feel like we have enough fixing. And, oh my god, Sneak Attack too? You're going to give us Through the Breach and Sneak Attack and Nahiri in this deck? 
God, we gotta find some fat boys if we take that. We can just take path too. I'm worried about going. Path. I'm worried about going too deep on these guys. When already, <coughs> too deep on the sneak sneak when we already have two of these guys. And the nasty kid picked his nose and put the booger on the seat in front, and I projectile vomited all over. Oh my god, that's gas. Yeah, I'll just take path here. Wow, Scalding Tarn and a Sacred Foundry? Oh my god. Definitely Tarn. Scalding Tarn gets all of our lands. It gets Plateau, Hollowed Fountain, Steam Vents, and Volcanic Island. That's insane. No, we... Never mind. What? Nope. Mm. It was going to be something dumb? Yeah. Let me hear it. No, I'm good. I want to hear what it was, man. I was just saying, now we can pick red cards, even though we already have red cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get a good red card or two. Uh, we can take Ancient Grudge, but Forsake is just probably better like we're not gonna be able to flash this back <clears throat> and let's forsake answers and enchantments that's true and it exiles them i just want one emerald for through the breach and nahiri one fat fat mama fat mama oh fat mama bang blam Oh, fat mama, ramba lamba, oh, fat Michael, ramba lamba, fat Michael had a child, ramba lamba, Michael went wild. <clears throat> Man, I, uh, I ordered this drink with, uh, that's pretty good. Monster Mentor came back you order this drink with what no water no water right yeah that's how you get it then I drank some of it and then I added water that's like infinite drinks oh my god you're so fucking, you're so smart dude is it inspiring vantage when we already have six lands or is it just explosion expansion because it could be very good I think you just take the explosion expansion who do you think is the most badass walker in MTG history like who would beat up Eldrazi um you know, I don't know. I like Flicker Wisp. It's good I, with Wall of Omens. Stone I feel like Forge, a Johnny could tussle mage. with somebody. It's good at blinking this, and we can pick another target. It's good at Zealous Conscripts. Yeah, Flicker Wisp seems fine. I don't know if we'd play it, but... Wow, the Aurelia came back? That's gas. Sure. Good sideboard. Arctic looks really sweet. Oh, Mike Betty, Ramba Lambo, oh, Mike Betty. Mike, this is like the only card we can even play in here. Not for us, 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 not for us. We can't spectacle it. This card is terrible. We have two other versions of it that are better. Mm, meh, meh, meh. Not for us, not for us, not for us. I think it's just for XC Menor. I don't actually feel bad about it. Yeah. We do have a Stoneforge. Um, I think this is more likely to come back than a Phyrexian Metamorph. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't mind playing a sword, but oh, time warp seems gas. So did Arid Mesa and Karn. Man, what what even what do? I like time warp. I do too, actually. <clears throat> I do too. I could see taking Karn though. I mean, we already have Zealous Conscripts. I mean, I'd rather just take a... Karn is pretty sick. A lot of mana, though. I bet Time Warp comes back. I'm going to take the Karn. Oh, Daze and Lightning Strike. Oh, Glenlinger Archmage seems real good. Other decks that just can't beat that. I like a Glenny, a Glenny boy. That's a lady. Don't let them peer pressure you. Uh, Wooded Foothills actually gets us both Volcanic Island and Plateau, so it actually gets us both of our colors, which I think makes it better than a Spire Bluff Canal. Which it I definitely actually, makes it better than a Spire Bluff. Which canal. I actually hate on any any turn later than four. It also gets Steam Vents and ha and uh, that's it. So it gets three of our lands, which is pretty good. Because it means we're, we're unlikely to not have a target. Is it better than Compulsive? 
I probably not. Um, maybe. But our deck listen, we're not really high on playables right now. We're not really uh, low on playables. That I meant, we don't really need playables. That's what I'm getting at here. How much does it cost to force you to play the escape ship or Tron through a league? And have you have you have to state how much you hate yourself at least five times a game? Five times a game? That's a lot. Torrential gear hook good in our deck? This is a sorcery, which makes me sad. This is a sorcery. Psst. Yeah. Listen. Okay, I'm listening. All black batting bamboo Oh. Oh. It works less if you can see the rest of your hand. That's probably true. Oh, black batting bamboo lamb. Oh, black batting. We have these three cards, Path to Exile, and that's pretty much it. We don't have a ton of cards for this guy. It might just be opt. Not super thrilled about opt. Oh, sulfur falls. Sulfur falls. That's a nice one. Yeah, I don't really care about auger or sinister sabotage here. I'm just gonna take the sulfur falls. That's one of my one of my favorite lands. That's one of my favorite lands. I mean, this this land type, the uh, the lands that all you have to do is have a basic land. Those are very good. <clears throat> Shut up. Man, we didn't get a Splinter Twin. No justice. There is no justice. Needle Spires, Magma Spray, or Looter Oak Core. I do like a, having a creature land. We don't have actually any creature land. Oh, we have Colonnade already, actually. We also have 13 fixing lands right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we have eight. My bad. I like Looter, especially if we get that sword back. Yeah, I can get behind that. Whoa, Mike Betty, Rambo Lambo. Whoa, Mike Betty. Remember that time Mike Betty had a child? Remember when the thing went wild? Oh, Splinter Twin. Whoop, 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 whoop. I guess that's, I guess that's good. I guess having an infinite combo in your deck is cool. If only we had taken that pestermite. If only you shut the hell up. That's Got rude, him. man. Got him. Did Super rude, Aru. Did you see me get him? Show and tell doesn't do anything here. Silverblade Paladin's probably a fine gentleman. To oh! Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Exciting stuff. Wow, exciting stuff. Wow. We wow. can also take out the Stoneforge Mystic because we have... Because we have no targets? Yeah, that seems good. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. We Thank are... you. Wow, Spiral of Canal came back. I'll take it okay. now. That was mighty fine. Wow. I was minimized and that sound made me feel like you finally stabbed yourself with a knife. <laughs> oh, well, you know what they say. Stabums and crabums. Do they say that? If you've never heard them say that, Michael, Do then it's your fault. Stabums and crabums. Do you you don't believe me? I just prove it. No, I don't. Prove Actually. that you don't believe me. Okay, I don't believe you. Prove it. That's my proof. That's not that's not how proof works. Sure Sorry. it does. Sure it does? You can't. Oh, we can me. take out through the breach too, because that's no good. Um, how good is he here without a target? I mean, it still exiles an enchantment, a tapped artifact, or a tapped creature, all of which are very, very good. And you can just loot, so pretty good. Good, good talk, good response. I had nothing to add. Well, I, I 
when someone asks a question and then you answer the question, usually they'll respond with a confirmation. You know what I mean? Like, hey, how old are you? <laughs> Got him. The answer is 55. You're 55 years old? Yeah. When was your 55th birthday? Yesterday. So I, mean, th- I mean today. Oh, okay. I was like, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have to make you're two cuts. 56, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm on to your games. So you need two cuts? Yeah. God, our deck looks real good. This card really excites me. Exile a non-land permanent, then you make a copy of it. Um, hmm. Why wouldn't be able to play Karn? We have literally warrant. Like, even if you just don't play... Even if you just have a regular deck, you can still get to seven mana. You can probably just cut Opt, right? Like, Opt isn't that great. Yeah. I, I definitely want to play Mass Manipulation before Blue might be too much. Yeah, I can see that. All right, so this will be our 23. Every land is playable, and we have nine fixer Fixeruskis. I don't think we need a single mountain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. And everything is... Maybe we want one mountain. Um, for white, we have one, two, three, Scalding Karn, four, Wooded, five, six, seven, eight. For blue, we have... And we're probably going to go to nine here. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that seems pretty good. We can actually go to ten here. This is ten, nine, eight. Yeah, we're just gonna go five. Because we want double white, double white. Hmm. So nine, eight, seven? Aurelia pumps any creature. It only gets vig- if it's white, it gets vigilance. If it's red, it gets trample. The pump doesn't. It doesn't care about the color. Also, she's just a four-five flyer for four, so I don't really know why we would ever not play that. Like even at worst, worst case scenario, she's a four-five mentor that like can mentor onto any one of our flying creatures. Well, you said pump our wall as if like it only pumps white creatures, but like I mean. I don't, I don't know why the wall is like... We have Luteral Core, which is amazing. We have Flicker Wisp. We have Monastery Mentor. We have Pestermite. <clears throat> like, we have a ton of... we Actually, mentoring onto Glenelandra Archmage is pretty insane. Oh, yeah. That's real good. <clears throat> uh, if we weren't Power Stone on three, we're not going to be able to Karn on four because that only gives you six mana, not seven mana. So. so, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. No, this is nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And then for blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So nine, eleven. You can probably cut an island for a planes if you want it. Yeah, I just don't want to have five planes in the deck because we're going to end up drawing more planes than anything else, and it's just. A little high on blue sources, especially when we don't have any double blue cards. Oh, wait, yes, we do. Forgot about that. I still kind of want Mass Manip in the deck, just being able to steal like multiple creatures. We do have 11 blue sources, that's not unreasonable. <sighs> Was Dak not in the Legacy Cube before? I kind of want to take out Dismissive <clears throat> Pyromancer, but it is kind of like it's just removal and. It is looting. Like, it's not bad. What would you bring in over it? Mass Manips. Mass Manips. <laughs> I'd like you to mass my nips, please. I think we can sideboard it in. We'll just play it like this. Wish we had one big dumb idiot. We do. It's their big dumb idiot. Look, we have so many ways to steal their big dumb idiots. Look, we also have Frexian... All these ways to steal your big dumb idiots. Thank you. Twitch won't leave me alone about this, so sharing it to get it go away. Sugar Milks, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. Play 61? So we just have to add 20 more cards? That seems bad. Everybody thinks every card is kind of meh. Dismiss the Pyromancer are kind of meh. Mass Manipulation kind of meh. Like, not all cards are meh, guys. Some cards are actually very good. <laughs> no apology needed. I'm just giving you a hard time. Assuming you can actually cast Mass Manipulation, it's insane. You steal their board. I think foil lava coil and searing blood are perhaps the most beautiful arts. Beautiful? Okay. What'd you say to me? Isn't it hard to see out of those? A little bit. Why do you wear them all the time then? Someone's got to do it, Frank. Man. I understand. Wow, you think this deck is just meh? Why don't you get the hell out of here? Oh, look, we drew Karn. All right, we need to land next turn. You ready? Mountain. <clears throat> Why would you want a, just a basic mountain? Well, <laughs> Oh boy. Always a pleasure, Magic. This deck is gas on Manips. What does that even mean? Hmm. Land. Alright, we did it. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Not in a million, billion, billy, bobby, billion, billy, bobby years. What the hell does that mean? Billy Bobby Billion Billy Bobby Billion years What's wrong with you? It's right after one billion No it's not Yeah it is We need one more We need more pips for the menips That's true My name is Michael And I live in a garbage can I live near the garbage can Okay In Near in it no one knows, but it's provocative. That's true. God, I'm so tired of seeing Polychronoses. Land. Oh, look at core. Did I just copy this dude? But then I'll just fight. What's he going to do? Deal me? That's not how that works. It deals damage. Yeah, so? I'm, I'm, I'm responding to what you said. Well, I mean, he's just gonna he's just gonna fight our for Luke and Rose. It doesn't fight; it just deals damage. If you if you monstrous it for three, it deals three damage. It doesn't fight you. Oh, I thought it fighted. It deals damage divided. It deals three to you. You deal five to it. When it becomes monstrous, it deals X damage divided number of, any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures deals damage. They fight it, but it just deals like the X amount of damage. So oh, it can okay. deal like two damage to this, and we'll deal five to it. <clears throat> and then when it attacks, we'll just block with our 2-2. Two -two. Why don't you tip your fedora, you friggin' nerd? Oh, they had a braid. How nice. Like you do. Wow, this is great. <sighs> Maybe if he didn't make so many gross lip noises, we would have got a land. You think so? You think my gross lip noises are what made made us not get a land? It didn't help. It didn't hurt either. So we're, I think we're pretty I much. I think it may have hurt. I think it may have hurt. <laughs> Please stop. No. No one wants to hear the moistness. Yes, they do. They come for the magic. They stay for the moistness. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, Biogenic Ooze in this format now? Jesus. Where's my Day of Judgment now? I guess it's where my lands are. Hoo 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 hoo! Yikes. Give me some of that succulent, moist, sweet meat package. Wow. I'm going to concede here. I don't see us winning this game. <clears throat> Christ. How many red sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight red sources. So about the same amount that a normal deck would have. Got it. Got it. Do you want to sweltering stones? Kill all their little babies? Their little babies. I'll kill their little babies. It's messed up, man. Keep. Snapples McKeeples. That was the name of the school I went to. I went to the Snapple McKeeples school for gifted youngsters. Yeah, well, I went to Snaples McApples. McGaples? Yeah. Gape Gaples? Mm hmm. You like to service Graples there. At Mc At where? Where was the school again? Staples McGraples. And what do they serve you there? McGaples. They serve you McGaples? Yeah. What is that? You know, they grow on <clears throat> vines. No, they don't. Sure they do. No, they don't. Why not? I don't know why they don't. Why don't monkeys grow on kitty cats? Because they don't. There's no answer as to why not. It just doesn't do. Man, you don't know anything about McGaples. <laughs> you know what I don't know about? You, you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> God. We're going to get a steam vents with this bad boy. Yeah, are you sure monkeys don't grow on kitty cats? Buddy, I'm positive. Although that would make a lot of sense. Staples McGraples, and I'm gonna play this Glenlendra Art Mage. <laughs> Nailed it. Do you get your McApel juice from the same place as I, Mike? See, look, there you go. Yeah, but you didn't answer the question. <laughs> what is this? McGable juice? <laughs> oh, they're just going to kill my... And then that's, they're going to exile it. This is great. Why would we want our own ooze? We can't... Oh my god, they didn't even exile it in response? That's fantastic. Oh boy, we're having a good time. Why would we want our own news? We can't even activate it. Not with that attitude. 
Well, not with any attitude. No matter what our attitude is, it doesn't change the fact. You could sideboard in forests. Go real deep. I mean, you don't have to, but you could. <clears throat> Michael McGraples is the name of my friend. What are you doing, man? Don't touch my fingers. Is a weird thing to say. Don't touch my fingers. <laughs> Don't touch them. I need you to stop. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to take the shields down just because I want to get Ludro Core online, but if they have like fire of fire and ice, then it's a bit bad. This is amazing what you're doing right here. Aren't you glad the idiot proof mana war to stop you from bouncing your own boys? No, I'm not actually. And I also think it's weird that they have exclusion mage and mana war in the same cube. Like. Oh, good. A fiery confluence to kill my whole board. Fantastic. Oh, like a sixth land. Great. Three for one is nice. Why would you pay double green to cast the news when there's multiple targets in graveyards that you can eat? I don't understand anything that's happening in this game. Of course we have six mana and we draw the Karn. Of course we do. But the Zoidberg all up in this piece. How does one Zoidberg? You just heard me. I speak fluent in Zoidberg. Do you? No. Not sure he knows of what Ooze does. It feels accurate. I mean, tapping double green when there are three creatures in graveyards. Not ideal. Maybe he doesn't like gaining life and putting counters on his Maybe dude. you don't. No, I hate that. What do you hate? Apples and bonobos. That's not true. I love those. Both apples and bonobos. I almost hope they spend their turn just exiling things. Okay. Tell me more about your opals and your bonobos. They know they can use that more than once a turn, right? Maybe, I don't think so. Maybe they don't. What is this? Oh, boy. Oh. Well. Hmm. You'll double eternal witness. That is a good one, especially when they're getting fiery confluence. It probably just kills us. Karn one time? No. When you're a terminate enemy and it dies, you may exile it. Okay, so it has to die. It has to die. I 
Actually, I don't think we can get a white source anymore, can we? Uh, no, don't believe so. Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead because Confluence deals us six. So we can only block one of these guys. We'll take at least four, five, and then they just kill us. So. Oh, uh, we have a mountain. We don't need a, we need a white source, not a mountain. We wanted to play Flicker Wisp. I mean, I'm, I think my odds of actually just being able to loot for one is just better than going to 10 with Wooded Foothills. We probably just have a braid anyway. I really like our deck, but I think these draws have been pretty bad. <laughs> sure. Wait, what just happened? What the hell just happened? What do you mean? Oh, we targeted the stupid... Yep, alright, sure. Cool. Oh, boy. Anyway, that game did not go very well at all. I don't think their deck was good. I don't think they were good. <laughs> no offense to my opponent. I really don't... You know, I just don't think they made very sound plays uh, during the course of a game. And it was pretty frustrating. keep see this is a better hand this is a hand it's okay we'll go 2-1 we'll, we'll we'll valid we'll we'll uh we'll vindicate ourselves no don't do that it's a bad idea what is you want to vindicate your opponent why because you don't want to kill one of your own permanents bro i'll do whatever i want you're a madman it's super frustrating to lose to opponents making miss, miss multiple misplays. I did really poorly with my first GP a few years back, and I just drew terrible and kept losing to opponents that honestly weren't playing tight at all. But it's in, yeah, it's it's just it, it just adds insult to injury. Really, it's it's frustrating for sure. Because you're like you're watching them give you all these outs almost, and you're like, if I could literally just get past these hurdles, I'm gonna do I can do fine. Like I the only thing holding me back from winning this game is my draws or like, you know the 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 cards I'm I'm getting. Like you know it's and. And it sucks because it's like you're watching them like, it's like being tied up and like someone is like you're trying to get out of a place and like they're slowly opening the door just a little bit every single time. And you're like, I'm watching you help me. Oh, you're going to Vendillion click when I literally draw Karn. Okay. I see you're having a good time. I'd like to prevent that in the future. I think they're just going to snap take Karn. You could also take Council's Judgment. I don't know why they'd take that. Not because it answers their click. So does Karn. Well, yeah, but Karn <laughs> takes a while. Karn is going to be played next turn. Doesn't he cost seven? One, two, three, four, five. We play a land this turn. That's six. Uh -huh. Next turn we'll have seven mana. Oh, he's doing this during our turn. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. What did they take? They took Frixian Metamorph. Interesting. Sarge, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed that 15 hour stream. That thing was insane. I thought this was happening at the end of our turn. Well, I thought it was happening at the end of our turn. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Sorry, stream. I have to go. I just can't take it anymore. So, this isn't an option. I don't want to counsel the judgment this guy. I think I'll just Conclave Tribunal it. I guess we didn't have to get rid of it at all, really. But, yeah, this is fine. Now, this just means they're going to counter the Karn, right? Oh. That's... Oh. I'm having a good time. I like how fast they tapped out. Like, they couldn't actually tap Dak Faden any faster. I 
I wish this was target permanent. That'd be great. Oh, great. Is, is this real life? Is this really? Is this really happening? Like I'm having a hard time. This seems unbelievable. They go Vendillion click. Uh, yeah, obviously they take Metamorph when they. Well. This 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 drafted has not been going the way I expected it to. Our deck looks good. Isn't that how it always works, though? If your deck looks good, you get crushed. If your deck looks it's bad, bad, you yeah, crush. then you end up. Yeah, it's very strange. Well, they're missing land drops, so all, despite all their greed, not greed, but like despite all their, uh, I mean, the plays were solid for sure. Land. Well, that's close to a land. Despite all their greed, they're still just a rat in the weeds. A rat in the weeds. Is this a stip? No, there's no stips. Not yet. Sure. Despite all my greed, they are still just a rat in the weeds. Another perfect answer. Wow, they're doing a very good job of keeping us off this Karn. I'm very proud of them. Can I hit one land so I can exile this Tamiyo? One land. No. Oh, that's that'll that still works. That'll do. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Phenomenal, phenomenal. Maybe they won't pay for it. Yeah, maybe. I can't, dude. I just can't. Oh, my God. What's it like to have it all? I wouldn't know, but I guess you would. White, 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 blue, blue, blue. Red, blue, volcanic island, too. They're going to daze it. You ready? Ready for the daze? Oh, they did not daze it. Let's restart the game with the Tamiyo out. It seems fine with me, my dude. Look, it's it's finally we're finally validated. Vindicated? Validated? It doesn't matter, they're gonna have all they're gonna just gain control of it or something. Yeah, that's that'll do. Something good. That's hot shit. <laughs> Probably want to path the siege gang. I don't because we know they have consecrated sphinx in hand. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Activate. One, two, three. We're one land shy of actually attacking and also protecting. We can still protect a little bit. Mm, just a little bit. Just a little bit of protecting. Skibbity bop dot and doo and doo and doo doo. Skibbity bit and doo and doo doo. I'm gonna activate. One, two, one, two, three. We're gonna fly across the sea. You're gonna fly across the sea? In hindsight, I think getting rid of this Vendillion click was probably the, the wrong play.
You're gonna fly across the. Did they forget we had this? Cause they're they're really taking a while to respond here. I'm gonna block here because it means that they don't get to shoot post combat if they want to shoot Karn. What the exile? Dak Faden? Didn't we? That's exile. No, wait. What? Oh, the exile is over here. It's Mr. Miscalculation. I was like, Dak Faden, didn't we get rid of that with the other thing? How are they cheating? This is unbelievable. Okay. Sounds good. Is it Karn? Sure. Go to five Karn. Go to five Karn. I hope you don't have anything else. You don't. Not neither do we, though, so. Yeah, but we have a Karn. I guess that's true. What do we get that time? A Roost? A Roost Bolton? A rooster booster? It's actually his name is Roos Bolton, not a roost. <laughs> All bolt on your mom. What does that mean? I don't know. I want you to tell me what it means. It just sounded good. It didn't. It sounded stupid. You sound stupid. I know. Oh my god, I know. I hope they just windmill slam their consecrated sphinx and then I can path to exile it back to the Stone Age. Oh, I know. Are we still talking about how I look stupid? This feels like a, a snap consecrated sphinxy boy. Sorry, bro. No, sir, I don't like it. Give me something good. Why are you giving me these lands? Calm down. Buddy, we are restarting this game. I swear to I swear to Jeebus. Do you really want to restart One, the two, game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With with a Karn and a Tamio and a Karn again. I don't. We only get one of those cards. <laughs> All right. Well. Swing low, sweet chariot. This is ridiculous. This is where they, we try to restart the game. And then they just... Sure. <laughs> you got it. Difficult choice. Is I think it is. What do you take there? You took the one? Yeah, they took the one Glenelanger Archmage. Seems fine. We got a Venser? Getting closer. Man, where's my mass manips when I need it? Three mana. Pestermite? Oh, are they just going to kill us here? Sure. Oh, boy. Probably not going to restart now. So we know one of their cards is Glen, and they just have it? Yeah, of course they do. Oh, that's super good for them. I'm actually kind of blown away that they've had everything they've needed. Like, they had three cards in hand. One of them was Glenelanger Archmage, one of them is Splinter Twin, one of them is Pestermite. Wow, that's pretty good. These two matches have been really unfortunate. I mean, I know we're not dead yet, we still have a game to go, but, like, still. Sure, you got it. You're going to make them do it. Don't be that person. I, I mean, don't. Yeah, man, clocks are real. Do you see any artifacts or enchantments? I don't think so.
I don't make them do it for the clock. If they have 20 minutes on the clock, I don't. I, I make them do it because there is a possible... Uh, there is a possible play that, like, if they... If I have a removal spell, if I'm bluffing a removal spell, they have to either account for that or not account for that. And, like, they could mess up. People have messed up the math tons of times. That's why I make them do it. Because I'm playing Magic Online. I'm not playing Paper Magic where they can... You can't facilitate a loop on Magic Online. You can only say that you you have to do it like that's the bottom line actually you got the big fat boy so we're definitely bringing that in we're keeping that in rather time to just take one power stone out because they have um Dak Faden Yeah, I want a standard game against Sahili. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's not... It's definitely possible for you to mess up on Magic Online. So, I, sometimes I make them do it. Sometimes I don't. But, I mean, it's my right as a player to, to, to decide whether I want to do that. I'm not entitled to... Or, I'm not uh, required to concede on the spot because of that. I think I could use some lands. Not a chance. Uh, Hollow Fountain, yes. Mm, you don't like a little peasy? Not even a little bit. A little wheezy? I hope we packed him negation this. That'd be hilarious. I think I'd daze it. <sighs> That's fantastic, dude. See a little. Just fantastic. A little mug there? Third land? Sure, dude. Joke's on you. I don't have a third land anyway. Hey, now we do. Nope, 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 nope. Sounds good. Let's order our cards by casting cost. You sleep now? Mm hmm. It's hard to tell, man. Exactly. Are you arguing about the white man? Yes. Okay. Consecrated Sphinx. Tamio, huh? You got pretty it. good. You're right, that is pretty good. Song of your people? Yeah. Okay. 
Can't splinter twin angel. She is a uh, legend. Well, I mean, you can, but it's not going to really do much. Plus, it's tapped down, so I'm not sure what that's going to do. That's a good one. I'm just done. I just, I, I don't understand like what's going wrong here. Like why we can't hit our land drops. Like why it's turn eight, we've missed three land drops. We haven't won a single game yet. This is actually pretty surprising. This deck actually looked better than it was. Maybe it's just terrible. And I just have no idea. Our, our mana seemed great. Like we have nine sources of fixing. Yeah, draws have been pretty bad, though. Yeah, but I don't want to just blame it on draws, because I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe it's maybe it's draws. I don't know. The deck doesn't do enough of one thing. That's, I don't think that's true at all. I just don't think that makes any sense. Like, I mean, I've had plenty of, of cube drafts where the, the decks just are solid. I go through this every time. Like, every time people are like, it's just too fair, or like, it doesn't do anything broken. Like, it's just not true. Like it just Especially doesn't. the Legacy Cube, like there's not that much broken going on in Legacy Cube, honestly. Right. Like I mean, if we hit our land drops, we're able to play our spells and have them resolve through counter spells. Like I think we're fine. Our deck doesn't. It's. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, op helps the draw, sure, but we shouldn't need it. We shouldn't need an opt because we have 17 lands and a Warren Power Stone and a, a looter. We have a Wall of Omens to get through. Like I mean, we have plenty of ways to get through our deck to like. To hit land drops like we just haven't been consistently hitting land drops or we've been flooding like i mean <sighs> i mean any blue and it's not even about being top heavy though like i mean i don't understand these takes like it's very On the play, like, sure. It's not even, this isn't even necessarily better, but. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Father likes. <laughs> Do you like it when I call myself father? No, no one likes that. Oh, we actually have Pestermite Splinter's one in hand. I actually didn't realize that. I'm sure it's not going to go anywhere, but, you know. We can we can we can see. My cold steel heart. Let's get uh, steam vents. Nope, don't like that. Come on, red source. Papa needs a red source. Could be best to go two colors. It doesn't make sense, though. I'm telling you, like, guys, it doesn't make sense. A normal draft deck, I go through this every time, a normal draft deck, a Ravnica Allegiance draft deck, is going to have eight sources of one color and nine sources of another. Your mana base with 17 lands is eight and nine, and you're able to play your spells fine. A draft deck in cube, our deck specifically, has nine sources of blue, or nine sources of red, or eight sources of red, nine sources of white, and 11 sources of blue. We have significantly more sources of of mana, of colors, than a regular draft two color deck is gonna have. Like it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. Like it's not it's not about going three colors or not. It's a matter of hitting land drops. If I hit my land drops, I'm fine. The double red here is rough because double double red would be difficult for a two color deck if you don't like hit the right colors. But um, I'm trying to figure out if I pester might and just try to win, but they have four mana up, so I'm gonna not do that. And they're playing black, so Oh, uh, I have no idea. I don't know why. I don't know why we're saying Owen lost his spot. It just seems like maybe he lost. I don't know. It's weird. That's a weird situation. <laughs> don't 
don't tell math scientists lie to you. Don't let math scientists lie to you. That's fair. Do we just play this? Of course we do. Do we wait till next turn? Of course we don't. Really? I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. We have nothing else to do is my problem. Like, Yeah, but they're not doing anything either. Right, but eventually they will be, and I'd rather be able to stop that. Yeah, they're gonna if they're gonna have cryptic command, they're gonna have cryptic command. Would you just do a deck critique by modern elves, or is it a linear boing? No, that's not at all. I'm never sure. Oh, uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> of course you have turn five. Of course you have turn five Inquisition to get rid of my Pestermite. Why wouldn't you have that? It's okay. We still got Zealous Boys. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, Monopoly, as I was saying, I would definitely not mind that at all. That would be... Uh, I haven't played Elves for quite a while, so... <sighs> Just don't feel like... Draws a card, draws a card, draws a card. I would love to remove soul that, but that's not how that works. So, yeah, just draw three, I guess. Was about to sneeze and was chewing and then tried not to sneeze and ended up biting my tongue. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. I actually love Super Friends. Wow, another card I can't do anything about. What did we take remove soul over? I feel like we took something. I feel like we probably should have just taken whatever we took remove soul over, but. I wasn't here for that. Yeah, it's because you suck. That's so rude, man. You're going to make me cry. I hope I do. See, look. No. You having your finger there doesn't mean you're crying. Shut up. Oh, wow, we just got to kill this Jace. Great news. That was unexpected. Great news, everyone. Anyway, apologies for getting all salty or uh, just counter this idiot. It doesn't feel like it. You gotta have some kind of finisher, right? And they have to discard too. <gasps> I guess we just wait. I mean, like, we could attack with colonnade. I'll attack you with colonnade. I guess we could actually just attack a colonnade and try to just win with a colonnade. Well, that's pretty good. I'll probably just play that. What do you think the odds that they have Mystic Confluence here? Oh, Sinister Sabotage! Oh, that's a Mike's favorite card! It's not. Oh, I'm gonna love it! Three, four, five, six. If we hit a land, if they tap out, no, they, that just guy, that guy just dies. Yeah, that card's busted. Scarab God is one of my favorite cards in the cube. Mike, what's your favorite card? Favorite card? 
probably crew ultimatum. Is it really? Oh my god, please one land 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 One, two, three, four, five. We can play this. We can steal one of their lands or untap one of our other reds, and then we have three mana for Splinter Twin. This is our this is our turn to be able to really get the job done. And uh, we were unable to do that. This is I'm trying. I'm trying to keep my trying to keep my head up here. He's trying to keep his head up. Whoa. I'm just looking for the uh I'm just looking for the next draft here. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> One day, I have a dream that I will be able to cast a creature and act actually attack with it one time. Your dreams are too big. I'm sorry. They'll never happen. I'm, so I'm sorry, kid. You're dreaming too big. Please let this resolve so that I may counter your ancestral vision on my next turn. He's just going to kill it. Well, they got to kill it twice. The creature is so nice, they got to kill it twice. Or oh, it has a Contempt. They don't want to kill it once. The creature so nice, they have to kill it one time. Why are you speaking in this voice? This is how I talk, Michael. It's not. It's really not. It is. I mean, right now, I guess. My voice. Oh, good. You have a thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Go 
it's back though, right? All right. Yep. Not, not gonna do that. Not gonna, not gonna do that anymore. So that was a four for one. We got Glenn's Archmage took away a murderous cut and ancestral vision. That's a pretty good. Let's get this Steamums McVentums. I mean, they did let me attack. That's true. That's true. Oh, I guess I need a, a red. I'll need a red mana. I need a red. Mm. Oh, they didn't actually. That's fascinating. I don't want to discard any of these cards, really. Then don't. Okay. I'm like, my hand's so good. Oh. Wow, they did have Raska's Contempt? Did they just draw that? You got it. Our hand is full of stuff and things. Don't cryptic command me, bro. I bet they have that too. All the cards are in your hand. <sighs> Jesus. This is exhausting. This is like just emotionally exhausting. I feel like I'm just sitting here like my opponent like beat the shit out of me. And all I get to do is sit here and just watch and I'm just like, what would you like to do next? How would you like to abuse me next? Are you falling asleep? Yeah, man. Okay, good talk. I stay falling asleep. Yeah, buddy, I know. Trust I'm me. I'm in a perpetual state of sleep. Trust me, man. I'm aware. Attack with your wall alone. What are you doing, man? You're really dropping the ball here. You're, you mean I'm dropping the wall here? Yeah. Yeah. You got it, my dude. Congratulations. You don't wait till you have four to get a free card out of this? That's greedy. I hope they counter this. This is the one I hope they counter. They didn't. They just let it die. Okay. Well, we tried. Karn, remove soul. One, two, three. I really just don't want to take this down now. How many answers will they have to this? One, two, three, four, five, whatever. We're just doing it. Hopefully you don't have diabetes. Me might. I have no idea. Diabetes could strike at any time. It's true. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to give you this. I guess. Two card types, so you can't cast that guy anytime soon. Emrakul is put into your hand. Of course it is. You can now quit streaming and open your own hotel. Why? Because you got ten old bits, man. This is a sorcery. You're right. Well, I guess they're going to take our hand. Well, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They're actually, well, I guess if they have a mana, they're, they're in good shape. I kind of want to just kill this, but we don't have another land to. I guess we can Tribunal to Jace. But then they, they, get another, they get another turn so they can Council's Judgment or Tribunal to get their Jace back. Oh, God. I'm exhausted. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would just play Mass Manipulation and make us... I'm, I mean, I'm just going to counter it. I'm not going to let Memorcore resolve. Uh, yeah, they need a land for Emrakul for sure, but I mean, I don't think that's going to be hard to get. They have four cards, so.
All right. Well, whatever. Yep. Making the way in the world today takes a miracle you got. Alright, well, we still have multiple answers for this idiot, so... Oh, actually, they could cast... Well, if we don't hit a land. Don't hit a land this time! Oh, that's great, because they can't cast it. Alright. So now they can Manips for zero, and then they can Cyclonic Rift their... Nope, they can't target that. They can't target this. This is actually pretty restrictive for them. They probably just waste mass manipulation on zero. Fitz, I'm working on it, buddy. I'm working on it. Usually we don't sink to the O3 bracket this quickly in the uh, the cube in the cube. Uh... Well, we're feeling it out, you know. We're learning and churning. Maybe that's true. We're learning, learning and, and turning. Learning and churning. Oh, they're just gonna smash our colonnade into their emerald. That's the turn. Please stop. Why not convoke? I don't know. What does it matter? Who cares? Who cares? Let's hit a land. We didn't hit a land. We hit a Pestermite. So now we can't mass manip this guy, but... Why not? Because we don't have the mana for it. <laughs> like, oh, let's actually get rid of my big fat head. There we go. This is my response. What's your response? <laughs> Crying out loud. Oh boy. Oh boy. We could just tap this guy. They have one card in hand. Just hold up counter? We don't actually have a counter. <laughs> we have no counters in our hands. So I don't know what we're going to hold up here. We could um, tap it with Pester Might. I mean, we could. It is an option. I mean, if they have a counter spell though in their hand as their last card, it's pretty brutal. It's true. But we're at 19, we can take one hit. I guess that's true. Wouldn't you like to pester might? Sometimes you pester might. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god this is the episode where Frank lost his goddamn mind clearly this is unbelievable guess we'll go to three so we're dead Non-land, non-land. Oh, there's no reason not to. Barack Obama said there's no reason not to judgment the upper gold. There was no reason not to. I thought there was a reason, but I guess I was wrong. I was mistaken. There was no reason not to. Yeah, we actually have no responses here. We can't block either. We can't cast anything on either one, so. That's. Give me a reason. I thought I gave you a reason. I thought we actually talked Dang. through the reasons. That's the whole point of me streaming. <laughs> That's like, I thought the whole point was like, so I could talk through plays. My reason was that I could tap it down. The likelihood of them having a counter spell was low. And then we could potentially steal this if we hit another blue source or a sixth mana. That was the reason. I didn't think it was that complicated. Give me a reason. Plus, we have no threats on the board, so stealing an Emrakul is a significant threat, and they're at 13 exactly, so it closes out the game in one turn. Um, Mike even said, we take 13, we can take one hit. I think that was reasonable at the time. 
I mean, those are all reasons. Whether you think they're good reasons or not, whether you like them or not is another thing. But, I mean, we still had reasons. Like, it's completely defensible, I think. We're just dead, right? Like, I mean, yeah, we're just dead. Man, 06. Fantastic. This deck was not uh, where I wanted to be at all. But hopefully we'll learn something. And uh, that would be nice. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Manatraders.com, MeUndies.com, slash Frank Lepore, and cool stuff with promo code Frank5. All of those are things you can do. I'll see you next time.